Have you ever imagined what it would be like to carry within yourself the power to control flames? And what if those flames, instead of being red and intense, were a bright green, a clear sign that your power was far from ordinary? Beatriz da Costa, better known as fire in the DC universe, is a unique heroine. Gifted with a rare ability, she can transform her body into a being made of green fire, capable of flying, fighting, and of course, setting everything around her ablaze. But how does someone with such great responsibility manage these powers? This is the journey of a Brazilian woman who, while protecting the world, also faces her own weaknesses. Beatriz's story begins with an unexpected fate. In the animated DC universe, Fire emerges as a heroine who, alongside her friend Ice, becomes one of the pillars of the Justice League. But before reaching this point, Beatriz had to learn how to master her abilities. And it wasn't easy. Her pyrokinesis, the ability to manipulate and create fire, was not just a combat tool, but also a curse. How can one control something as unpredictable as flames? Over time, she not only mastered this power, but also discovered that it went beyond what she imagined. She could literally transform into fire. Watching fire on missions alongside the Justice League is witnessing a heroine in constant growth. She participated in intense battles, such as defending against Amazo and fighting Mordru. Always seen alongside veteran heroes, Fire learned to respect those who came before her, but this never meant she would stop fighting for her own beliefs. One of the most remarkable scenes was when she, alone, managed to defeat Dr. Polaris, one of the most powerful villains with magnetic abilities. How did she do it? Simple, by overloading him with extreme heat, something that only someone with her level of control over fire could achieve. But fire wasn't always enough. In one of the most intense battles of her career, Fire was captured by the villain Roulette and forced to fight in an arena against Black Canary. At first, it seemed that Fire would come out on top, with her green flames scorching her opponent. However, Black Canary had a trump card, her powerful sonic scream. The force of this scream nearly cost Beatrice her life, showing that despite all her power, she also had weaknesses. And one of those weaknesses, curiously enough, was her vulnerability to water. Flames can be extinguished, and for fire, a body of water large enough is capable of neutralizing her abilities. In addition to battles, Beatriz da Costa's life was also marked by her personal interactions. During a mission on Blackhawk Island, alongside Shayera and Flash, she showed unexpected interest in the speedster. The flirting between the two brought a moment of lightness amid the tension of the mission. However, her dedication to the League was always her priority. Even in moments of relaxation, Fire never put aside her responsibility as one of Earth's most powerful defenders. Throughout her journey, Fire fought alongside the Justice League against threats, ranging from alien invasions to supervillains like Darkseid. In all these battles, she displayed courage, fearlessness, and above all loyalty to her teammates. But is her ability to transform into a being of green fire enough to ensure her survival in all situations? This is the question Beatriz seems to constantly ask herself. Her strength lies in her flames, but also in her humanity, in how she deals with her fears and doubts. In the end, what truly defines Beatriz da Costa is her resilience. In a world where danger lurks around every corner, and where her own powers could, at any moment, escape her control, she remains steadfast. But the question that lingers is, how long can someone carry the weight of such power before it ends up consuming their soul? Will the flames that once saved Beatriz also be the ones that bring about her downfall?